Good morning, everybody. How are you all today? My name is Miss Jenny, and I'm from Worthington Library's Northwest Library Branch, and I'm here to bring another story time to you today. Well, today, we're going to start off with our song, The More We Get Together. And I know last week, Miss Karen did that song with you to start off with, and I know Miss Lisa did too. Now, do you remember the motions we did? Do you? Well, let's go over them. And by the way, adults out there, moms, dads, caregivers with babies, remember when we sing this song, you're going to help them clap their little hands because clapping your hands is a baby's first finger play. And remember, this story time is not only designed for waddlers and toddlers and preschoolers, but it's also designed for babies too, kind of like the Friday Family Fun story times I do when we are in the library. So let's go over the motions for this song, okay guys? And then we'll go ahead and sing it. And those of you with babies, remember, you help them clap their hands. Okay. Okay, so this is more. Can you do this? And now we're going to put our hands in fists and we're going to stir them like we're stirring a pot. This is together. And this is a sign for happy. This is a sign for your. This is a sign for your friends when you hook your fingers together. And this is a sign for my, okay? So my friends are your friends. And your friends are my friends. That's the tricky part. Okay, ready to sing it and try it again? Okay, here we go. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Great job, guys. Speaking of happy, you guys make me so happy when you stop in and do story times with us at the library online right now. Hey, remember last time I was with you, we did the see it, say it, sing it nursery rhyme, and it had this little boy in it. Do you remember his name? What was his name? Can you see him? He might not be in our There. Can you see him? That's right. His name is Jack. And what did Jack like to do? Oh, he did. He liked to jump high. And what else did he like to do? He liked to jump low. And Jack was also very what? He could do a lot of things. He was nimble. He could jump high. He could jump low. So we say he was what? Nimble. That's right. He's very nimble. Okay. So. What, when Jack jumped high and he jumped low, he jumped over something and he burned his toe. He went, ow, 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 ow. What did he burn his toe on? It was, it was a candlestick. Okay, it's a pretend candlestick. Oh, by the way, remember the five practices of getting ready to learn to read? Read, write, talk, sing, and play. And in my story time, we try to encompass all those different practices embedded into my story time. And I bet moms and dads and caregivers, you're probably doing this in your everyday chores and activities with your children, and you don't even really realize it. But you are. And the first sign of a child learning to read is to be able to talk about a picture in a book or talk about our flannel. So this first thing we're doing really is your child is reading back to you by talking about the picture and telling about it, about the rhyme. So we're going to go ahead and do the rhyme. We're going to do actions to it. And by the way, those of you that are babies out here, you're also going to sway your babies as the boys and girls are swaying back and forth on their left foot and then their right, their left foot and their right foot. And then when we go to go jump high, you're going to lift your baby up and over and the reason you're doing that is you're helping them to strengthen their core muscles and the more times you do that the stronger their core muscles will develop which is great for when they learn how to walk it helps them with their balance and their coordination and their dexterity so it's a good thing for them okay boys and girls stand up 
We're going to do our motions to this and say it together. You ready? You up on your feet? Okay, let's sway back and forth. Remember, left foot, right foot. Jack, be nimble. Jack, be quick. Jack, jumped over the candlestick. Jack, jumped high. Jack, jumped low. Jack, jumped over and burnt his toe. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, we're going to sing it because boys and girls, when you sing, it slows down the words and each word has its own different tone. So when you go to learn how to read, it's going to be easier for you to sound out words. And that's why singing is so important. It helps to break those words down for you and you hear the different sounds and by the different tones in the songs we sing. Okay, ready to sing it with me? But stay standing up because we're going to do the actions again. Ready? And moms, dads, caregivers with babies, you're going to do the same motions with your babies as we say it. And you say it and sing it with them as well. Here we go. Ready? Jack, be nimble. Jack, be quick. Jack, jump over the candlestick. Jack, jump high. Jack, jump low. Jack jumped over and burnt his toe. Ow, 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 ow. Are you hopping on one foot? <laughs> Jack, be nimble. Jack, be quick. Jack, jump over the candlestick. Great job, boys and girls. Jack, thank you so much for coming to story time with us. Bye, Jack. See you next time. There goes Jack. Hey, guys. How many of you out there have pets? What kind of pets do you have? Oh, you have a cat. You have a dog. Me too. I have a dog. My dog's name is Hercules. Well, in this next story, this story that we're going to read, the name of the story is Mr. Scruff. And this story is written by Simon James. And I want to thank Candlewood Press for allowing me to share this book, Mr. Scruff, with you. In this story, there are many different dogs in the story and many different owners. And you know what? As you hear the story, see if you see something common in this. I'll try to point it out to you. So this is Mr. Scruff. By the way, who do you think Mr. Scruff is? Do you think it's a dog? Do you think it's the boy? Maybe it's the boy's dad? Maybe the boy's grandpa? <gasps> Let's read and find out, Mr. Scruff by Simon James and published by Candlewick Press. This is Polly. Do you see Polly? Polly's a dog. Oh, did you see that family there? Hmm. Wonder if that's their dog. Let's see. Oh! She belongs to Molly. This is Eric. Hmm. He belongs to Derek. Oh, wait a minute. Say Molly. Say Polly. They sound alike, don't they? Say Eric. Say Derek. They sound alike. This is Minnie. She belongs to... But who is this? That's Mr. Scruff, right there. Oh, for Mr. Scruff, there's no one. This is Mick. He belongs to Rick. And this is Lawrence. I wonder what his owner's name is. He belongs to Florence. You see Florence? But things are looking rough for poor Mr. Scruff. Wait a minute. Who's this? It's Jim. Oh. They seem to like each other. Look at they're shaking hands and paws. But 
Jim says his dad. Are you sure? He's so big and you're so small. I can't see it working. No, not at all. He's so old, says mom, and you're so young. Surely a puppy would be more fun. No, says Jim. He needs a home, a place to call his very own. That's what he needs, and that's enough for me and Mr. Scruff. So who took Mr. Scruff home? Jim and his mom and his dad. So wow, Polly has Molly, Eric has Derek, Minnie has Vinny, and Lawrence has Florence. Now Mr. Scruff belongs to Jim. And though it doesn't rhyme, it all worked out just fine. But wait a minute. Who's this? Who is that? It's Mr. Gruff. Oh, he's come to choose a dog. Here's a little puppy. Oh, they seem to like each other. I'm so big and you're so small, but that doesn't matter. No, not at all. Mr. Gruff is happy. It's the perfect dog for him. Can you guess the puppy's name? Well, of course. It's Tim. Does Tim rhyme with Mr. Gruff? But Mr. Scruff does, doesn't he? Does Tim rhyme with Jim? They all had, all the dogs rhymed with people, didn't they? Yeah. Hey, well, speaking of dogs, I brought some with me. Well, pretend. They're little puppies. Can you help me count them? Okay, here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Can you show me five on your hands? <gasps> and do you notice something about each of these puppies? Yeah? <gasps> Their collars are different colors, aren't they? Let's read what colors their collars are. Can you help me read this, these colors? Okay, let's try. Yellow, pink, red, blue, green. Five little puppies were playing in the sun. This one saw a rabbit, oh, and he began to run. This one saw a butterfly and he began to chase. This one saw a pussy cat, and he began to race. This one tries to catch his tail, and he went round and round. And this little one saw a squirrel, There goes my five puppies. Oh, they had so much fun. Well, you know, not everybody has a dog or a cat for a pet. Some have all sorts of different animals for a pet. And this next story that I want to read to you is called Dear Zoo by Rod Campbell. And I want to thank Little Simon Press for allowing me to read this book with you today. Dear Zoo, hmm, I wonder what kind of animal or what kind of pet you would get from the zoo. Can you think of any you might like that lives at the zoo? Well, let's read and see. I might need some help with this book, though. So here we go. Dear Zoo by Rod Campbell by Little Simon Press. I wrote to the zoo to send me a pet. They sent me an... Oh, it says very heavy. What could be in this big box? Let's look and see. <gasps> what is that? It's an elephant. Oh, do you think we can keep him? No, he was too big. I sent him back. Ooh, let's see what's another one. <gasps> so they sent me a 
know what this word says? It says fragile. What could be in there? Let's look and see. Oh, what's this? It's a giraffe. He was too tall. So I sent him back. So they sent me a ooh, danger. What could that be? Should we look and see? <gasps> it was a lion. He was too fierce. I sent him back. So they sent me a uh, with care. Hmm. What is this? <gasps> You're right. It's a it is it's a camel. He was too grumpy. I sent him back. So they sent me a uh, well, what could be in here? What could be in this basket? Let's look and see. He was too scary. Oh, I sent him back. So they sent me a, what could be in here? You see his face? It's a monkey, isn't it? There he is. Silly monkey. He was too naughty. I sent him back. So they sent me a, what could be in here? Any ideas? It's got holes in it. Let's see. It's a frog. Ribbit, ribbit. He was too jumpy. I sent him back. So they fought very hard. And this time they sent me a from all your friends at the zoo. It's a puppy. He was perfect, so I kept him. Well, speaking of puppies, okay, my dog's name isn't Rags, but maybe that dog's name is Rags. So we've done this before in story time, but for those of you that have not, I'm gonna teach you the story. It's called, I Have a Dog and His Name is Rags, and it has some motions to it, and I need you to stand up. And I wish I could stand up with you too, but if I stood up, you couldn't see me doing the motions. So I'm gonna to try to sit and do the motions with you. For those of you that have babies, you can again rock them, or maybe if they're tiny babies, lay them on your lap and you do the motions and sing the song to them doing the motions, okay? Here we go. You start the, I have a dog and his name is Rex. His ears flip flop and his tail wig wags. And when he walks, he walks zigzag. He goes flip, flop, wig, wag, zigzag. Okay, ready? Okay. I have a dog and his name is Rags. He eats so much that his tummy sags. His ears flip, flop, and his tail wig, wags. And when he walks, he walks zigzag. He goes a flip, flop, wig, wag. Zigzag, he goes flip flop, wig wag, zigzag, he goes flip flop, wig wag, zigzag. I love rags and he loves me. Good job. You know what I forgot to tell you tell you about my tummy. I forgot to tell you about that one too, didn't I? Well, let's do it one more time, okay? We'll remember to do that part. Here we go. I have a dog and his name is Rags. He eats so much that his tummy sags. His ears flip flop and his tail wig wags. And when he walks, he walks zigzag. He goes a flip flop, wig wag, zigzag. He goes flip flop, wig wag, zigzag. He goes flip flop, wig wag, zigzag. I love Rags and he loves me. <gasps> Thanks for doing that with me. I had so much fun with you guys today in story time. But right now it is time to tickle some clouds with me. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Tickle the clouds. Tickle, 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 tickle. Tickle your toes. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Turn around and tickle your nose. Reach down really low. Reach up really high. 
story time's over. Goodbye. We'll see you next time, boys and girls. But be watching next week. You'll see Miss Lisa again. Have a great day. Bye.